Our last trip to Boulder came in February 2020. Little did we know, little did anyone know, how much the world would change in the weeks to come. From visiting three or four times a year to a two and a half year drought, the site of Boulder was a welcome oasis and our time there was delightful. We arrived on Thursday, two days before race day. Popular wisdom is that it's better to arrive for an altitude race as close to race day as possible, or at least two weeks in advance. While we wished for two weeks, that was not realistic for us. We took care of packet pickup on Thursday, knowing that it would help free up our time on Friday and give us more time to relax and race prep. On Friday, we hit up the Waterfall Racing Team swim meetup at Scott Carpenter Pool and did a cool thousand shakeout swim in that awesome long course meter pool. much better trained than the last time I swam in long course pool. So it felt like I'm really good into the stroke. It feels like I want to live here. <laughs> After that, we hit the trail for an easy run with strides, all while getting used to the thinner air. Honestly, neither one of us noticed too much of an impact. From there, it was on to bike check-in. Everything leading into race day was easy, low-key, and stress-free. We wanted to be in Boulder and were eager to get to the start line on race morning. We arrived at the reservoir shortly after 4 a.m. on race day to avoid the parking nightmare. It worked perfectly for us, giving us time to set up transition and even take a power nap. Come on, so we're gonna bring the noise. Yo, what's up, buddy? How's it going this morning? It's all 430, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Turns out the race was delayed by 30 minutes due to the parking chaos at the res. The race itself was exhilarating, even if the conditions were intense. We both celebrated the day and each other, both fortunate to reach the finish line in a very special place. While we keep things low key leading into the race, we made sure to plan a few days post race to enjoy our Boulder favorites. Somehow we managed a two and a half mile hike the day after the race on weary legs. It helps that the temperatures were nowhere near the Texas heat we've been having. Then we ventured to our favorite place of all, Avery Brewing. Uh, dark, heavy, high ABV. It's always a fun time and we were also recognized by a contingency of triathletes from Mexico. How cool is that? We're at Avery, our favorite place in Boulder, and uh, yeah, we just got scoped out and recognized, so that was really cool. It's a really great community. <laughs> Tijuana, Mexico. It's a global, global love, global sport. Yes. We discovered some new breweries on Monday and got in one last breathtaking ride before we rolled out on Tuesday. Last little bit of our time here in Boulder. Um, we're actually going to roll out, heading back home in a couple of hours, but couldn't resist to get one more bike ride uh, with this incredible scenery. Beautiful morning, I think maybe 70 degrees and it's 8.30, almost 9 o'clock. Um, yeah, so just a nice little ride out here on Neva Road. Couldn't complain and uh, I think we have a little gradual uphill heading back to the house. Falls flat. It's a little more challenging than I remember it two days ago. Must have just been in the zone. Boulder, you never disappoint. In fact, every trip raises the bar. We look forward to returning much sooner next time. 
Now it's time to look ahead to our next race, Ironman 70.3 Augusta. It will be here soon, and we hope Augusta is at least half as cool as Boulder. If you let me put it down to you when we get home, if you let me put it down.